We're recording now. <laughs> All right, welcome. It's been a while since we've done a, a broadcast uh, or at least a recording of one of these uh, dev syncs. Um, and we've been hard at work at a lot of stuff that uh, you'll learn about eventually. So, uh, but uh, we uh, today we've uh, kind of caught up and we can uh, go through and share the stuff we're working on uh, on the dev side. Uh, and so let's just get into it. Uh, let's go to Derek first. He's usually got a got a scoot the earliest. Yeah. So uh, I've got a couple of tasks that I've you know been working on the, for marketing um, efforts. Um, mostly now I've switched over to kind of preparing some ads um, for uh, different platforms, different social media, etc. <clears throat> But I'm still trying to get this GUI stuff uh, pushed along. So the um, uh, I was hoping to have it done today. But the uh, uh, the icon set, the initial icon set that we're going to use, um, getting that converted, and hopefully have that over to uh, something we can play around with tomorrow. Um, and with the uh, with Sarah and Josh coming in um, tomorrow, I will probably be working up in. The office for a couple of days, um, but uh, there's no. I don't think there's really any agenda. Just you know, getting FaceTime. <laughs> so, um, is there any reason for me to be down there? You know, we might. Yeah, we might try and consider something um, early next week. Uh, yeah, maybe just uh, get okay. some FaceTime. Just let me know. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know. I haven't heard seen any like written agenda or anything yet. So. Um, but yeah, so things should be winding down uh, on the, the marketing side of things, so I can hopefully get back more product um, the remainder of the week. All right, thanks. Uh, let's go to Chris Bear since he just took a big sip. <laughs> oh man, I didn't get him as good. Uh, got the wit, got the wet whistle now. Um, so I basically finished up the timer skill. Um, it's about ready to, to merge. Um, I did want to mention something I did though, um, because it's questionable whether or not it's in scope. Um, so at the very bottom of the current version of the timer skill, there are two methods, uh, do pickle and do unpickle. Basically what that does is it takes all of the uh, timers that are active when the skill reloads or stops or whatever, saves them out to disk. Um, and then when the, the skill starts back up, it loads them back up. Um, there was a big to-do at the top of those said, hey, these, this is reusable code. Let's, uh, let's maybe put this somewhere where it can be reused. So I tried to do that. Um, and I found the file system package in core, which is what the thing, what the pickle stuff was using anyway to do its work. <laughs> um, so it kind of felt like a good home for reusable pickling logic. So um, I did that, but I don't want to, not only did I do that, I went a little step further because right now there is a file system package in core that has nothing but a single file system class and it. it's kind of all by its lonesomes over there. And it's, um, it is really just for skills. So I kind of put the code in the skills package and a backwards compatible kind of pointer to the old one that we can maybe get rid of in the next major release. Um, did that make sense? And if so, any comments or complaints? Well, um, I think uh, based on the way we've, you know, some of the discussions we've had recently, um, I think that uh, it sounds like good work um, and something that is, you know, worth putting in there. Uh, I guess the question is, is it separable from the other work you did on the timer? And, you know, to the extent that we can use it as its own you know, as a separate check-in, or is it kind of like a, a monolithic thing at this point? No, it's not really. I mean, the class itself is not that big. Um, I could check in the new class and just use it with a timer for now and we'll worry about backwards compatibility later if we wanted to. Um, that's one potential avenue. Um, but it's really just three three files in, uh, in core and not a lot of code. There's a lot of comments. There's more comments than code in this class, actually. Because um, a lot of them are like one-line helper functions, right? 
but I can throw it out there um, as a PR and see what happens. And I can always remove the backwards compatibility part if it starts people start screaming. And if there's any you know, opposition to it that I'm not aware of. Gotcha. Okay, so the uh, so if I understand correctly, if if uh, we just accepted all of those changes, then theoretically nothing should break because you've got the backwards compatibility built in. Uh, yes. But then we could remove that backwards compatibility just to clean up the code a little bit after we do in the next major release or in some future major release. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, like we probably need to talk about how long some of these things need to be. You know what lead time we need to give people for rid of something right. like that. I'd put a big fat comment in the in the backwards one and says, says hey, you know, get rid of this next time we can. So right. using the other one. I don't think this is used a lot. Yeah, basically, it's it's just for things that um, that actually store skill data on the file system. And I don't know if every skill does that. Um, well, the arm the, skill probably does because like it's like the timer. The, um, the skills that do use probably, it, they're accessing it by the, the skill class anyway. So as long as the skill class still has okay. a has a reference to it, um, that wouldn't break. My the question that popped into my head was whether we'll want to use whether we'll want to provide plugins with a dedicated file system. Um, so that's actually an interesting point because one of the things I did, um, so this used to be, this class, there used to be an instance of it in the Mycroft skill class. Um, I did not put an instance of my new class in the Mycroft skill class. I just defined the class, imported it in the skill because that's where I needed it and use it that way. Um, so part of the reason behind this is, at least in my mind, the skill class is an overwhelming, the Mycroft skill class is a behemoth monster that needs to be somewhat tamed. Um, and things like this, which are used by some skills, but not all or the majority of skills, don't make a lot of sense to have in a base class just you know, to have some variable there that anybody can use if they want to. Um, that just doesn't isn't how base classes should be constructed, in my opinion. So, I'm trying out my um, what I this is something I'd like to do with more things in the base class, but um, this is like a really small thing where um, you know I can do this and not really interrupt a lot of things. So basically, it's instead of having every skill have an instance of this class available to it, if you need it, you pull it in. If you don't, you don't. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, I don't want to get derailed too much. I think we should get yeah. the conversation over to the community as well. Let's see what yeah, I'll, I'll put the PR out there and put a bunch of information in it, and I'm sure we'll get some feedback. Cool. I, I do think it's where we saw the, the settings JSON, so the downloaded settings. So we might have some trouble there if we're not providing it for all skills. No, that's that's in the actual skill pack. Oh, no, that'll be in the config, won't it? Yeah, sorry. Don't worry. I'll shut up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, so, so, so yeah, after I get this PR uh, submitted um, and I need to run a few more tests to make sure I didn't break anything, then yeah, I'll put a PR together for the timer skill as well. Okay, great. Uh, let's see, who's next? Uh, let's go to Gets. Hey, hey. Um, uh, unfortunately, I spent yesterday working on um, boring things that I can't really talk about in a recorded meeting. Um, but earlier in the week, given I haven't talked we'll about business, business stuff, yeah. Uh, uh, but anyway, earlier in the week, um, I did some work uh, fixing up our, um, our test instance of, of WordPress because it, it just got fully balked. Um, but, um, you know, we, we re image that across on a semi regular basis anyway. Um, uh, did a whole bunch of fixes. Um, there was there was a change recently to add uh, searching for the author um, when we're trying to determine which skills to run the VK test for. Um, because basically, you know, if there was two camera skills, for example, um, then it wouldn't know which one of those to choose. Um, and that doesn't happen yet. However. There was a, an error where, in, in certain circumstances, it wasn't providing the full skill name to search for because um, it was trimming off 
um, some characters um, because of a bug in the code. Uh, but even without that, there was there was the possibility that there were multiple matches um, for a particular string, um, and so it wasn't sure which which skill to run the test for, and so the test would fail. Um, and so, uh, you know, there's probably some fixes that we need to do in MSM around that. There's a whole bunch of fixes we need to do in MSM, but a, um, an, an existing feature of MSM is that you can filter by the, the author of the package. So if we said we want the, the, the camera skill from Mycroft AI, then search for that. So anyway, that, that went in, there was, a, there was another little bug in that. Um, and so I've kind of been iterating on that because it had blocked PRs to Mycroft skills. And that's now in a, a much better place and, um, and merged some other improvements to the CI uh, so that um, because there was there was an extra uh, um, process that was using a common file path just for temporary file storage while it was transferring things over to the to the report server um, but and so there was you know a, a small window where if multiple jobs were happening at the same time then they could overwrite themselves and and cause some dramas um, so fix that in micro skills and in micro core um, and the next point of call is getting back to the TTS um, fix in Microsoft Core because that's causing dramas um, where the return file path is, is not returning correctly for the TTS cache. Um, um, other than that, Yeah, I think that's about it for now. Oh, the the um, the uh, icon theme stuff got into I pushed that into the Mark II image, um, so that's in there at the moment. There's only a single icon accessible at the moment, but um, uh, it's basically all of the all of the foundation that's needed, and and now we just need to drop in the the big icon set that Derek's working on. And, um, and they should all be available for, for skilled developers. So that would be cool. Um, and then I've got to do documentation around that so that people know how they can actually use it. Uh, but yeah. All right, well, that sounds like a lot of stuff. Well, I haven't um, seen you guys for three days, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, 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 good. Um, all right, uh, so Ken, how's it going down there in Florida? How's the... Uh, How's the uh, tropical storm, hurricane? What is it? We didn't uh, we didn't see anything of it here, but how's your dad? Uh, oh, we're calling me out about not talking to my dad in a public forum. I see. Okay. Oh. Well, I'm just saying uh, because it hit over there, right? It hit over in, in yeah. Tampa. The West Coast, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, I, I looked at the, the, the path of the hurricane. It didn't look like it was going to actually do much, so... Yeah, it's fascinating because you look at Florida and you figure where I'm at is going to get clobbered. The reality is 90% of them end up in the Gulf. Yeah, and even then, most of them kind of end up hitting up in the panhandle. So Exactly. Uh, I've been working on the, uh, the wiki skill and the DuckDuckGo skill from a couple of perspectives. Um, the, uh, the last thing I added today was the ability to call them out by name. So you can say, like, um, ask DuckDuckGo or ask wiki. And it'll actually confirm back and say, you know, the answer from Wiki versus the answer from DuckDuckGo. So you'll know that. Um, you can also just say, you know, the query without saying anything like that, obviously. And it'll go through the old path. Uh, so that's all done. Um, learn some stuff about Adapt uh, and its weaknesses. It's interesting. Um, but that's, I guess, the uh, limitations of a kind of a regex kind of parser like that. Uh, but it just seems like the smaller you keep your intent file list, the more accurate it'll be. For example, I had asked DuckDuckGo, and then I would notice it was misunderstanding me. So I'd put them all in there. Ax, you know, DuckDuckGo, because my kids used to say Ax instead of ask. Uh, ads, apps, whatever. And the recognition quality degraded with each of those. So if you just deleted them all and said, ask DuckDuckGo or DuckDuckGo. It's pretty good. So that was an interesting observation. 
Um, but they're both um, uh, common query skills now. Um, they're both pulling abstracts. Um, it's also interesting, like I showed you guys yesterday, that if you're running one of these guys and then you set the volume, it will set the volume, but it won't say volume set. Well, I noticed today if I say, uh, you know, ask Wiki and it starts playing something long and while it's playing, I say, ask DuckDuckGo, it'll die in the same way. So what's happening is if it's already pushing out speak through TTS, if you do another one on top of it, it'll die silently and not do anything. So the net effect would be volume won't speak, volume was updated. The second of the two common query skills that it recognized, it'll try to speak, but it won't speak. So you'll see it was recognized. It'll say, okay, now I'm speaking my answer, but it won't interrupt the first thing that was going off. So I don't know that that's the desired behavior. I'm just saying that's the default behavior right now. Uh, it may be desirable, I don't know. So that's, that's where I'm at on that. Um, I'll probably not get these two in tomorrow for a couple of reasons. The first is I want to try to do as best as I can making them um, support multiple languages. And, you know, right now I have a, a bunch of like, you know, special words that I'm scripting out of the utterance on the direct intent handler, um, which would normally be done by common query and stuff. But if you come in through an intent, you don't get the benefit of that. Uh, so I'm, you know, doing that and I'm trying to get those out into a file, but the problem is we have like book match and, and book file processing. I want these in an dot intent, um, but we'll see an intent file. So anyway, I, I have some refactoring to do there. Um, right now the wiki does not do the disambiguate or more. Um, I don't know if I want to put them in first or not. Uh, the reason is dis wiki returns disambiguate a lot. And what I had done and I think what this version of it does is it says people really don't want to be bothered every time you ask Wiki with, did you mean A, B, C, D, or E? Just take the best one. And so I'm, I, what I had been doing on a disambiguated is grabbing the first, which is the highest confidence level, and then going back and getting the detail and doing that seamlessly so you wouldn't know, um, you know, and then pulling the abstract. So that's kind of the reason the disambiguates pulled out of it for right now. Um, yeah, and... That's it. So that's what I'm working on. All right. Cool. Thanks for the update. Um, that's everyone. Great. All right. Um, so I think we can just call it there unless there's uh, anything else people want to talk about. Um, and uh, all right. Well, then we'll just sign off here. And... And my internet cut out viewers, but that was the end. So, adios. <laughs> <laughs>